Dallas City Council is legally required to put four citizen-led charter amendments on the November ballot. Earlier this week, we told you about the concern the Dallas police chief had over an initiative that would decriminalize four ounces of marijuana. Tonight, we take a closer look at the other initiative involving public safety. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live to explain. Violent crime can take hours for police response, if any. Pete Morocco is the Dallas resident who led the petition drive for a November ballot measure that would require the city to ramp up its police force from 3,100 officers now to 4,000. We simply want a bare minimum of three police officers to every thousand citizens. But we are a shocking 33% below this minimum standard. It's not that DPD wouldn't like to have more officers, but Chief Eddie Garcia spelled out the current reality. Between 250 to 300 officers is really what we can uh, absorb. Garcia said each year the city aims to hire 250 officers, but also loses 190 officers to attrition. At that rate, the chief says it would take 15 years to get to 4,000 officers. Morocco says his initiative's intent is for that to happen in three years. Dallas City Councilman Gay Donnell Willis doubts the department can carry out the mandate if it's approved by voters. You don't order Dallas police officers off of Amazon. Uh, retired assistant police chief David Elliston stood right here and he said they are not ordinary people. The amendment would also require a police pay increase to make salaries comparable with other North Texas departments and would require 50% of the city's revenue growth to be put back into the Dallas Police and Fire Pension. Dallas interim city manager Kemp Tolbert said the cost of 900 additional officers with equipment and benefits would equal $175 million. You would be looking at drastic, very extreme, cuts that we would have to make across the board. The ballot language does not include a date for the department to reach 4,000 officers, but failing to do so could allow a citizen to sue, putting it in a judge's hands. Councilwoman Mendelson said the city is already planning to budget for 500 additional officers over the next two years. And maybe that hero amendment actually holds us accountable. Councilman Chad West said the measure could have unintended consequences. Could it seriously impact our other departments, including parks, libraries, street repairs, all these things that are also priorities to our constituents beyond just public safety, which we know is at the very top of the list. Lori Brown, Fox 4 News. Despite the city's struggles to recruit and retain officers, Chief Garcia says violent crime is down 13% compared with last year.